Welcome back to the channel guys. Well, here we have it. The Triumph Stag. I've had it a week and I'm absolutely in love with this car. One, it sounds absolutely incredible. Two, it's a very, very pretty car and it just turns heads wherever you go. I'm absolutely loving it. Well, here we are in beautiful North Yorkshire, um, a beautiful little village called Castleton on the North Yorkshire Moors. And this is the best place to have this beautiful car in beautiful surroundings. Yes, we're in God's country. What a nightmare driving it back from London. But I tell you what, I would do that tenfold to pick this car up. Um, yeah. I'm absolutely loving it. So we're going to give you a full tour of the car and how I'm finding it. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very pretty car. Just look at it. You know, why can't they design cars like this now? You know, they should make a newer version of this car. But honestly, guys, this thing sounds absolutely fantastic I've totally fallen in love with this car um, so yeah let's take you around there and give you a close-up of everything that's going on with the car Boom. no matter what angle you look at this car it just absolutely is so pretty. Look at her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Now listen to this when I fire it up. Isn't she beautiful? Burbling away, just listen to that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so there's another angle. Such a pretty car. 1972. And the sun has come out, so do you know what? I think I'll put the top down. Right, let's put the top down, shall we? Look, the sun is shining down on her. So I think it's time to put the top down. This is what this car was designed to do. She looks pretty with the top on. Let's see what she looks like with the top down. There she is, guys, with the top down. No matter what angle you look at it, they definitely got the, uh, the design right of this car. Gorgeous. There's a walk around, guys.
absolutely stunningly beautiful. This is about a 15 minute drive from my hometown. I'm so lucky to have this on my doorstep. Let's have a little drive to Hemsley. Look, there's nothing on the roads at all. Absolutely gorgeous. This is how we like it. The top down, beautiful day, the sun shining. It was raining earlier. I was pouring the overdrive. This is God's country. Look at it! Stunning out here, guys. I'm okay then, come on, jump in. Let's have a little ride to Whitby, North Yorkshire. It's about a 20 minute drive. Anyway, Whipsy's four now, and he said, let's see how accurate the uh, MPH is, miles per hour. And you know what? It's bang on. Which is 
which I'm uh, quite chuffed about. That's pretty good for an old car at this age. At 50, it's 50, yeah, it's 51 years old. Wow. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of little, it's rattling a little bit, but there, it's a classic car, it doesn't really matter. But it drives so nice. And with the top down, sun shining down on me. I'm in God's country at the moment. You know, listen, look at that. Look at it. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning out here. Uh, this is the best place to have a classic car. There's nothing on the roads. Nothing. Just the odd sheep. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just, I've just got such a big grin on me face all the time when I'm driving this car. You know, I used to own a Jaguar XKRS. That was a monster. Look, I'll be honest with you guys, this is giving me as much pleasure, if not more. Probably because the car is so rare. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to see another one on the road because most of the people, you know, they're either on bricks or they're in the garage because something's working. Oh, I haven't got it done yet. I haven't got it ready. But uh, this is sorted. This is a sorted car. Absolutely chuffed to bits with it. Well, yeah, we're going to have a run to, uh, we're having a run over to Hemsley in North Yorkshire. Uh, I might go and have my tea in the pub. But, uh, it's just nice to come out. It's good to get the top down. Uh, the top, it's fairly easy to, uh, to fall down. It's not too bad. Um, there's a couple of little things that need attention. Uh, I've sorted the, uh... There you go. Someone just nodded past me. Yeah, she was running a little bit rich when I took the plugs out. I've sorted that. And now she's running beautifully and, you know, oh, this car's so good on fuel. <laughs> For a three litre V8. Um, I also did some calculations. I think I was getting carried away. 35 pounds. Yeah. Right, well, I filled it back up to the gunnels. I did a couple of little runs around before I went to the petrol station as well. Um, so I put 79 pounds in it to come, you know, to fill it up to the gunnels. I think it was just under the, um, the quarter. So yeah, it took £79 to fill it right up. I could actually see the fuel right to the top. And uh, I went back to fill it back up again. And it took £70. It was still cheaper than the train. And less hassle. I just don't like public transport. Ugh, I'm just so glad there wasn't any delays or uh, any cancellations or anything because... I'm a terrible person when it comes to things like that, and I know they're going on strike again. You know, you guys, if you don't want to do the job, get another fucking job. You know, you get enough money. You know, I think train drives on £60,000 a year just to sit there on the fat asses eating a sandwich. How hard can it be to drive a train, really? Do that. But uh, coming back to this car, I absolutely love it. And I'm, whether you can hear it at the moment, I'm in fourth gear, I've got the overdrive kicked in, and we're just purring away. Yes, me, uh, all my uh, pressures are all okay. Um, just over 40 pounds of pressure of oil. It was down a smidge on the oil, so I've topped it up with 2050. Wow, 2050. It's like treacle. I'm used to putting 530 in at <laughs> the Range Rover. Uh, yeah, but I am going to give it an oil change. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to the new tyres coming. That's going to give it another look. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to put me on stamp on the car. It's just, it's cool. It's a cool rig. You know, at least. It's, it's nice to have something different. There you go. No, I don't think I'll. And there's a few guys. Oh, well, you want to also try and start bonus club? No, I'm not interested in that. They're a bit clicky clubs, especially the Jaguar club. Nah, I can't be asked with any of that. Um, I'm a really good car mechanic, so I've already got it running better already. And, you know, I've barely started. I'm uh, going to order a k and air filter as well, that's the first thing I like to do, put a good old air filter in the car, then she can breathe properly, but this car runs so well, oh, it's just a pleasure to have something, you know, and apparently I could drive through London, you ladies, and not get charged, because it's heritage car. Work that one out. It's got no catalytic converters. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe, uh, you know, let's run the, uh, I'm going to run this car and use it every day. I don't care if it's raining. Um, it has been raining. It, it's been okay. I haven't seen any damp patches really, but it, it, it hasn't rained really heavy. Just that mizzle stuff. Uh, but yeah. Well, uh, I'll let you know how good the, the hood is, especially in the pouring rain, because I'm just going to use this car a daily driver it. You know, I'm not just going to wrap it in cotton wool. I'm going to use them. This is what you guys should do. Because at the end of the day, anything can happen, and you can't take it with you. I always say that, you cannot take it with you. You know. So, get it out of the heated garage and get it ran. It's not good for the cars to be tucked away. You know? Oh, it's raining today. I'm not bringing the classic car out. Why? You could be dead tomorrow. Get it out. Um, so, I insured the car. Let's get on to uh, uh, what it's costing. One. I don't have to tax it because it's uh, tax exempt, which is another Brucey bonus. I pay enough with the Range Rover, I think it's nearly 600 quid a year now for that. Absolute rip off. State the roads are in. Um, it's MOT exempt, but I'm going to get an MOT anyway. I think it's still got a little bit of MOT on it. Uh, I'll make sure all my vehicles are A1. This will go through straight to a test. Uh, especially when I have the cars through my fingers. So yeah, um, the insurance was £128 for the year. Fully comprehensive. Um, that's for the mileage of 5,000 miles a year. I doubt I'll be doing any more of that. Because uh, we've got some busy weekends with the band. The V12 band. You've got to check the V12 band out. Give us a like and a share and all the rest of it. Uh, we've got a few big wedding gigs all over the country, so yeah, I won't be able to use this for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I am looking forward to the Ripon uh, Classic Car Show on the 7th of May. So come over and say hi. Don't be, don't be scared. You know, I'll show you on the car. Come and have a look at the famous stag. I'm going to make this car famous. You know, bring him back in. Right, we've just gone over a cattle grid. We're heading into beautiful, beautiful Huntley Hall. Right, you've got to see this, guys.
stunning little village here. Hemsley. So we've made it to Hemsley. It's quite pretty here. Another chocolate box little town. Very nice. Yeah, we're gonna pull over here and maybe go for a drink.